Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. This is today's temperature anomaly map from the University of Maine Climate Change Institute. It shows that global temperatures are below the 1979 to 2000 average. Temperatures today in most of the United States are below average. But the press says the United States and the world are burning up in unprecedented heat waves. However, the actual thermometer data doesn't support their claims. There have been 39 summers in the United States since 1895 with higher afternoon temperatures than this summer. And by the time summer is over, this will drop some. It's pretty likely that summer 2022 will be pretty close to average since 1895. Same story with the frequency of hot days. Right now, the summer is in 36th place, but it will probably drop before August is over. This graph shows the percentage of the United States to reach 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius sometime during the summer. This percentage has been declining for 90 years, with this year below average. These sort of reports from the press are their usual fake news designed to demonize low-cost, reliable energy. Now let's go back to the year 1955 when they actually were having extreme weather and hot weather. On this date, August 21st in 1955, every single state recorded temperatures over 90 degrees, and 15 states had temperatures over 100 degrees. A heat wave this widespread is outside the experience of modern Americans. On average, about 30% of U.S. stations are over 90 degrees on August 21st. But on August 21st, 1955, two-thirds of U.S. stations were over 90 degrees. Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin had nine consecutive days over 90 degrees and five consecutive days over 100 degrees. They averaged 97 degrees over a nine-day period. To put that in perspective, the hottest temperature recorded in Prairie du Chien over the past 10 years is 96 degrees. But in 1955, they had five consecutive days over 100 degrees. This chart shows all 3,629 days over 90 degrees recorded at Prairie du Chien since the 19th century. As you can see, hot temperatures used to be much more common and much more severe than they have been in recent decades. During that same heat wave in 1955, Lamar's, Iowa had 11 consecutive days over 90 degrees. Beaver City, Nebraska had 18 consecutive days over 90 degrees, and they averaged 99 degrees during that period. During that August heat wave of 1955, Ashland, Kansas had 24 consecutive days over 90 degrees. Much of the U.S. was in drought during August 1955, which was a big improvement over the previous year. During August 1954, most of the United States was experiencing drought. 1954 was also a very bad hurricane year in the United States, but this video is about 1955. This week in 1955, North Carolina was hit by their second consecutive hurricane. Hurricane Diane hit North Carolina just a few days after Hurricane Connie. Hurricane Diane moved up the East Coast and caused some of the worst flooding in New England history. Then in September, Hurricane Ion was the third hurricane to hit North Carolina that year. At the time, the 1955 Atlantic hurricane season was the costliest season on record. By this date in 1955, North Carolina had already been hit by two hurricanes, but there have been no Atlantic hurricanes at all so far this season. However, when a hurricane finally does occur, we can be quite certain the press will be there to make up some fake statistics saying it was one of the worst on record. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this massive fraud for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Tokianupla, on the web at realclimatescience.com.